man in South Carolina was in the act of committing armed robbery when the police showed up. They had their police dog Fargo with them. Fargo chased down the criminal, biting him in the leg. The criminal freaked out and started shooting so he could get free. All told, he fired seven shots. Fargo died later that night from the gunshot wounds. And now the man was just sentenced to 35 years in prison for killing a dog. Yes, he fired around police, but no one was remotely hurt except for the dog. And the robber expressed much remorse for it, saying he was just freaked out that the dog was biting him. It scared the crap out of him, so he fired. But he certainly had no intention of killing the dog, and he feels horrible about it. Now, I am a huge dog lover. I love dogs more than most people. But come on, doesn't a sentence of 35 years for killing a dog seem a bit excessive? Especially when you consider how often police themselves shoot and kill dogs. For instance, police in Boise just shot a dog named Scrappy Doo three times when they approached a home on the report of a domestic disturbance. Police in Ohio just shot and killed a Labrador named Champion. First they shot the dog, they saw how injured he was, and then they shot the dog again, dead. Police in Orlando shot a dog named Lady while delivering a warrant to the wrong house. On New Year's Eve, police in South Carolina went to a house over noise complaints and shot a dog named Rocky. Police in San Jose killed a golden retriever, maybe the least aggressive of all dogs, named Tiger when investigating a suspected but non-existent burglary. I could go on and on because police always shoot dogs. It happens all the time. In all of the cases I just mentioned too, the owners insisted the dogs didn't charge or bite anyone at all. But are any of those police people serving time or being remotely punished at all? No, they are not. And yet this black man is getting 35 years over killing a police dog. Rapists and white collar criminals go free. Cyber criminals and black people go to jail for sneezing in the wrong direction. I'm not trying to race bait here. I'm just telling you like it is. That's what happens here in America. Clearly, our justice system has gone to the dogs. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.